DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? Putting it down, we just started in something new, you know what I'm saying? Starting my own podcast called Riding High with DJ Lil King. And I got my first guest in the building today. Man is a Northside legend, a corpus rap pioneer, been putting it down with the merchandise, been putting it down in the streets since way back in the day, even though he's not in the streets no more. This boy is a certified, I ain't gonna say, this, this man is a certified OG. This boy has, this man has kids that people are looking up to in today's times. Today's guest today is none other than my dog, Daddy Cree, man. What's up with it, man? Shit, I'm a, shit, I appreciate being here. I, you know, I, 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 I come to break it in with you. You know what I'm saying? Already, you get already. this thing rolling, man. You know, feel free to ask whatever you ask, man. And like, like you say, man, we're gonna, we're gonna do our thing in this motherfucker. For sure, for sure. Where did Where did Daddy Cree grow up at, man? I grew up in uh Northside Manor on the on the Northside area, man. On the in the Northside era area, uh, I grew up with a. I grew up with a, uh, I was adopted, you know what I'm saying? When I was two years old, I was adopted to a Janetta and a Leroy Martin into that, into that family. So that family pretty much raised me, man. And, uh, like, how could I, how could I say it? Like, a lot of the, a lot of my partners that I grew up with in that neighborhood, because the people that, that adopted me, man, they were they were an older couple, man. And, and I had a brother that stayed upstairs, you know what I'm saying, on the third floor. He already had family, kids, shit like that. So I was a lot of the lot of the youngsters that I had grew up with, the the younger kids, they were like brothers to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because when I was adopted into this family, man, there were no kids in the house. I was the only kid and they were they were really old enough to be my grandparents. Oh, okay. You know I man? see, I see now. You know I see now. Saying? I see now. Already, already. So they already had kids that was like older type shit. Whenever yeah. like already. Yeah, they had kids. Okay, so yeah, so they you kids had kids. Look, <laughs> check it out. Check it out. This how this how old they were. They had kids, right? Yeah. That had kids. That had kids. Dang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Even 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 their kids' kids were older than me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? All they right. were really like <clears throat> my brother kids or like my uh my uh you know my nieces and nephews. I always call them my uncles because they're older than me, right? Already. But you know, and their kids their kids are my great nieces and nephews, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And they have kids now. Yeah. That are getting ready to graduate from high school. Damn. That are my great great nieces and nephews. You know, so it's crazy, man. God but damn. yeah. So what was it like growing up in Northside Manor? What was it like growing up not just in Northside Manor, but what was it like growing up in the North Side in general back in those times when you was growing up as like a young young kid? When I, when I was a youngster like I was I was like my mom was real protective over me. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't like really do what I wanted, what like majority of the kids could do, but I could get around. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She let me get around like a Jimmy Gale. These are some of my OGs. Jimmy Gale and the Creston Miller. She trusted me with them. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about trusted me. With them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They were older. If, 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 if my partners wanted to go to the movies and man, they'd be like, Creek, go ask your tea lady. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, Mama, can I go? She'd be like, Nah, I'll be mad as hell. But if Creston or, or Jimmy Gale was yeah. going, she'll pay them to take a nigga with them. You know? So I was always good. So the kids that was around your age, around the time, they was already uh, probably getting into shit to where your people didn't just want you in that type of shit? Is that kind of yeah, what well, it was? It, I, don't, I don't think it was that. I think it was because the situation why I was adopted. Okay, okay, okay. Why they were overprotective, you know? Okay, okay. They ain't gonna let nothing happen to me, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, I feel you, I feel Situation why I was adopted. But, uh, but growing, look, man, I swear to God, bro, I didn't know we was poor. You dig what I'm saying? I didn't know we was poor, bro. Uh, as a kid, what, what, growing up in Northside Mountain with Marcus Davis, Marvin Miller, Chris Miller, uh, Jimmy Lee and Daryl, Plazelle, Nim Warren, Holt Nim, you know what I'm saying? The Luckies, man. I'm talking about, man, these names, uh, uh, Pimp, Chris Jones, them. I mean, these names go on and on and on. Stick out, these names go on and on and on and on. Growing up, man, in that neighborhood, bro, it was fun as fuck, my nigga. Oh, really? You know what I'm talking about? I told you, bro, I didn't know we was poor. <laughs> it was fun as hell, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like having like team dances and all this type man, of stuff. Like, 
Man, look, bro. <laughs> look, you could look, man. It was so live, like it was like it was music everywhere. Like oh, yeah, it was yeah. so live, man. There, was, I don't care, man. You went to a partner house. Somebody's on the porch playing. Some old folks on the porch playing a a a, a, a guitar with the with the amplifier, man. Uh, uh, real walking by with a goddamn cart, yeah. cart rigged up with yeah. a with a, with a house speaker, a goddamn uh car stereo thing yeah. hooked up to the shit, pushing this bitch down the street. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? I'm talking about like man. And black was, back in those days, you had a lot of black folks playing the guitars, like you yeah, were saying, like shit, yeah, yeah, all, all that type of stuff. Yeah, because I had an uncle, that, he still played that guitar to this day. Bro, man. check it out. It used to be man. It, it was ba- it was bands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was, oh, man. Of, it was a lot of black bands around, bro. Like. Like uh doing uh motherfucking me uh say June nineteenth. June tenth, you know yeah, like yeah, Juneteenth, yeah, bro. Yeah. Juneteenth at uh at, at Hillcrest Park or at uh at, at Ben Garza Park. Yeah. West they used to have one Park, at uh I you know what I'm saying? House. West Gooth Park at uh at uh Is it at South Hill Bluff Park? Park. I remember they used to have one too, I think over there at uh South Bluff Park right here down the street too, if I ain't mistaken. Kinda right here off of uh, that's that's uh that's what's the name? That's uh I just I just said the name of the motherfucker. Already, already, I already. I just said the name already, of the already. That, that's what that place okay, is. Okay, bet, right bet, there. bet, hell yeah. That's what that place is right already. there. Already. Yeah, I remember my grandpa taking me over there and they had it like real organized. They used to have it was, like it was always live, man. That era dog, like real real talk, that era man. Black people loved each other. It's not like this shit how we treat each other today, bro. You know, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. We're our worst enemy. I don't care what nobody say, bro. I'm sick of that uh, pointing the finger shit. No, nigga, we got to start pointing our fingers at each other. Hell but yeah. we'll get to that down the line. All right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but All at right. that time, bro, I'm talking about black people love the fuck out of each other. We, can, we were pretty much in the same goddamn neighborhood, whether we were on the... The north or the west, we was like congealed in this little yeah, spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless of where we were, and man, we loved on each other, dog, because we couldn't like, like a nigga couldn't just look. It was, it was, it was. You were afraid to embarrass your parent. Yeah, Put yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. You, dig what yeah. I'm you carried, you, were, you carried you, that yeah, name. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were afraid to embarrass your parents, my nigga. Yeah, Not yeah. like today, how these kids are. Yeah, say yeah. this type of shit and Hell, all that yeah. type of shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, nigga, you, you was, we was afraid to embarrass our parents, Hell, man. Yeah. You know that, what that last name. That's Fuck it, up that, that, that last yeah. name. Hell, yeah. Like, like real shit. And guess what? The, the people in the neighborhood want to let you fuck up they, your your people last name. Knowing if your if your mom and daddy was good people, man, yeah. they wouldn't let you act a fucking fool out here. You already, know what I'm saying? Already. So, man, people, like, we loved on each other, like, back then, man, as a kid when I was growing up. Bro, man, so I'm, I'm, I'm from the north side Manor, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, Mookie, BG, them, Jimmy Lee, them, Pazell, them, bro, we we were beach babies, man. We'll walk down there from north side Manor, bro. Uh, Evelyn, all, all them, Mookie's sister, all, all of us, bro, we'll walk from the, we'll walk from, we'll, we'll either fish or we'll walk down there to the beach, bro, and go to the goddamn beach. Goddamn. Right you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. We'll go down to the Warren Hole. We all nigga. We we'll go out, man. And look, try to go out there on a on a, on a whack ass float, about to die because because the, <laughs> the wave ninety feet high. You know what I'm saying, man? Say yeah. we tripping. <laughs> we project kids, man. We tripping with ourselves. Trying to go over and see how far out it can go. Oh man, man. catch one of them high ass currents and big ass waves come in. Turn that little rag ass boat around. Trying to get God back to sea. Damn. Say man, say bro. I'm talking about like like fam. We knew how to. We knew how, look. We'll go to motherfucking me, uh, Whataburger, right? We'll go to Whataburger, nigga. We'll put our change together. You know what I'm saying? A nigga order some motherfucking water, right? We'll order some water. They used to have lemon packages right there. Nigga get about four or five of them lemon packages yeah, yeah, and some yeah. sugar. Nigga make some real live lemonade, nigga, and bust that burger and fries down with the homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, look, bro. We, it, it, for me, that was rich. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize it was poor until we got a little older. Like, Hell we niggas yeah. was busting shit down because we didn't have yeah. shit. Hell but yeah. for, for me, it was like we was rich. We was able to take care of each other. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Man, out for each other and shit. Like, like, like my partner, Cazelle, man. Cazelle, I ain't gonna lie. He was like one of the realest, one of the realest niggas. Him and Arthur Harvey. These was like two of the realest niggas I know when it came to them having money on them, dog. Because if you was with them, bro. They were gonna break bread. Already, oh, I ain't yeah. gonna bullshit. And these was young niggas with that 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 Arthur gonna go hustle for his at, at a young age. He gonna shine shoes and shit like that at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Cazelle, his daddy was gonna break bread with a nigga. This nigga, you know, you, you tell a nigga that 12 years old, he got 
$375. God nigga, damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, 12 years just to go to the carnival. You know what I'm saying? God Come on, damn. Creole. Nigga, bet. Nigga, I shit. Yeah. Nigga, 10 years old, nigga. He just nigga 12, nigga. We walk down there. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, in the middle of the night, we don't give a fuck. Damn. You know, we project's kids, nigga. We really down there. Like that. No no parents, no nothing. One thing about us, bro, I think, I think like, we always walk in packs. Yeah, yeah, hell know, yeah. As kids. Yeah, you know hell yeah, saying? hell yeah. So, it wasn't like you would snatch one of us. Yeah, up. it wasn't like you were walking you know by yourself saying? and that shit like he, that. I'm talking about even yeah. as kids, man. You yeah, yeah. We, we projects kids, yeah. man. We look, man. We will look, we look rough around the goddamn edges, man. You don't have to just snatch one of us. You're going to have to fight all of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. you have to fight all of us, man. So, you know, we'll go, to, we'll go to the beach like that. We'll go to the carnival like that. Nigga, we go roller skating like that. Hell yeah. What was the roller skating ring set back in them days? I know when I, I was going to wear like city skates it and was, shit it, like was, it was a roller, the first roller skate that I remember, bro, it was right here off of, uh, it was on SPID, like somewhere between Costores and wherever. Okay, okay. It was a, it was a I don't, I forgot what it was called. Oh, really? But that's the one that I remember, bro. Oh, really? And when we was young niggas, that's where we used to always go, we used to go to skate. I'm talking, man. And they was having like this was like real live skating shit yeah. back in these days. Oh, like, yeah, the 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 how low can you go to speed <laughs> the, the whole nine, bro. It was it was live, man. It, oh, was, it, was, it was really live, bro. It, it was live because like check it out, check it out. Uh, was y'all like meeting people from like other schools and shit like like in them days type shit? Ain't gonna lie, that didn't happen until I went to junior high. Okay, okay, bet. You know what bet. I mean?